Hi everyone. It's not a secret that some actors are ready to do anything to get into the role. Some of them even agree to perform some crazy stunts. However, if a stuntman replaces the star in some scenes, this doesn't mean that the actor or the actress is lazy. We know many of them would happily jump on trampolines and fly, but imagine what would happen if the protagonist of the movie gets a serious injury on the set. This will break all the deadlines, the film company will have huge losses, and we'll be able to see the long-awaited film much later. That's why doubles come to the aid of actors, and we're going to talk about these irreplaceable celebrity twins today. Let's get it on. Tony McFarr Most likely this name, like other names on our list, doesn't sound familiar to you. But for Chris Pratt, the actor who plays Peter Quill, Tony McFarr means a lot. According to the actor himself, it's not the first time they're working together. They worked on the set of Jurassic World. And really, if you look at them standing side by side, you get a little confused. So which one is Pratt? On the left or on the right? No, wait, we're not sure. Oh, we must say that McFar is one of the most sought-after Hollywood stuntmen of the last decade. He, in particular, took part in such blockbusters as Captain America Civil War and The Hunger Games Mockingjay. But this is just a small part of his CV. Tony also replaced Chris in the second part of The Guardians and even in Passengers. Well, looks like Pratt has found a man who can really be trusted with anything, even his life. Bobby Holland Hanton this guy already has a huge list of movies where he often had to risk his life. Bobby acted as a double for such actors as Chris Evans, Chris Pine, Christian Bale, and Chris Hemsworth. And if you think that Bobby's agent seems to like celebrities named Chris, we'll tell you a little secret. It's all about his stunning physical abilities, which allow him to play roles that require real power. Today, Bobby is constant Chris Hemsworth stand-in in all Marvel movies where he plays Thor. Looking at the actors standing side by side, you start to think that this is exactly what the brother of the Thunder God should look like. A normal brother, not Hiddleston. No offense, Tom. But to become the double of Hemsworth in the role of Thor, Bobby had to work very hard. He practiced for 18 hours a week, and this despite the fact that the guy is already quite muscular. However, to match the size of Thor, Bobby not only constantly trained, but also ate 35 times a day. 35. No salt, no sugar, plus a blonde wig, and the recipe for a Thor is ready. And you know, in some ways, he even turned out better than the original. William Spencer Of course, it's simply impossible to create a superhero in a movie without the help of a stuntman. So, Andrew Garfield, who played Spider-Man in two films, had his assistance. In the High Voltage movie, there were two. One performed tricks, hiding under the mask, and the other, William Spencer, showed Peter Parker's dexterity in ordinary life. William, the world's first professional skateboarder stuntman, uses his board to do incredible tricks, so it's no surprise that he was once invited to the set and offered to try the role of Spider-Man. In addition, Spencer looked quite similar to Garfield, so the filmmakers didn't think twice. Thanks to him, Spidey could not only jump on the walls fighting criminals, but also use his superpowers every day. Although William himself doesn't have any abilities, only dexterity and many years of experience. Or is it? Heidi Moneymaker Heidi Moneymaker, like many other stunt performers, has practiced gymnastics since childhood and grew to become a professional stuntwoman. Heidi takes part in every Marvel film which involves Natasha Romanoff, played by Scarlett Johansson. She not only replaces the actress in the scenes, but also works with her choreography of hand-to-hand -hand fighting, and in general, it seems, managed to make friends with Scarlett. Maybe the girls don't look very much alike. On the screen, you don't distinguish one from the other. Was this trick performed by Heidi or Scarlet? Judging by the number of stories of the Marvel Universe in which the Black Widow can appear, the fearless stunt girl will have worked for many years, and we are very happy for her. Kelly Richardson 
Kelly Richardson's biography as a double and understudy is not that large, especially compared to other heroes of our list, but we also want to say a few words about her. The acrobat portrayed Alexandra Daddario in the San Andreas and became blue-skinned alien Nebula in the second part of the Guardians of the Galaxy. Yes, without makeup, she doesn't look much like Karen Gillan, but with a little blue paint, a pair of silicon pads, lenses, and they turn into twin sisters. Dane Farwell If you've watched Marvel movies more than once, you probably remember a character named Phil Coulson, played by Clark Gregg. Those who know about the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. need no explanation. But Agent Coulson doesn't seem like such a superhero character to give him a double. After all, he doesn't jump on walls, doesn't wave a hammer, doesn't throw a shield. But no. The 56-year-old actor was sometimes replaced by Dane Farwell. Looking at Agent Coulson, it seems that Dane was literally created to help Clark Gregg on the set. Doesn't even need makeup. Just look at him. Sam Hargrave Chris Evans as Captain America had several doubles. One of them was Bobby Holland Hansen, Thor's brother, and the other was Sam Hargrave. Although you can't say Sam looks very much like Steve Rogers. Let's admit, from afar you can easily mistake one for the other, especially if you don't have very good eyesight. And the guys are wearing the same clothes and have similar hairstyles, and especially if one of them has a helmet. James Young how to make this stunt double mess even more confusing? Adding Bucky Barnes, of course. Wait, or is it Sebastian Stan? Okay, let's admit it. James Young, Stan's backup, doesn't look even remotely like his cousin, but that's not so important. First, the Winter Soldier wears a mask or a cap a lot and hides behind his long hair. And secondly, secondly, just look how this guy fights. It's a real luck that Sam Hargrave, Captain America's backup, and James Young met on the set. And next time, when you see a fight between the Captain and Bucky, think how it would look if not for these two. Zoe Bell not many stunt doubles can boast of having started their careers at the age of 14. It was then when Zoe Bell performed her first trick on the set as a member of the national team of New Zealand in gymnastics. A little later, Zoe mastered taekwondo and linked her life with the cinema. During her long career, Bell managed to work as a stunt woman in a huge number of films. She was even a personal assistant to Lucy Lawless in the series Xena Warrior Princess. Later, Zoe began to collaborate with Quentin Tarantino, performing tricks for Uma Thurman in the famous Kill Bill. Action. Then she started acting herself, but didn't leave the work of the stunt double. During her stunt career, Zoe Bell has been repeatedly nominated for the Taurus World Stunt Awards in the category Best Overall Stunt by a Stunt Woman, Best Fight, Best High Work, Eventually, she got to the Marvel Universe. She was invited to replace Kate Blanchett in Ragnarok. However, their communication was not limited to working moments, and it seems that the actresses have become friends. Did this help the film? Well, judge for yourself. Holland Diaz well, and finally, a little more about Spidey. Underoos! You've probably heard that Tom Holland, the youngest performer of the role of Peter Parker in history, performed all the tricks on the set himself. Holland is a very dexterous guy with good physical ability who exhausted himself with training to become even cooler and look like a real superhero. He fought, jumped, ran and performed a whole bunch of acrobatic tricks to the immense delight of the crew. The young actor was so inspired by the role of Spider-Man that he even accidentally broke his nose right on the set. This incidentally was the fourth fracture Holland had had in his acting career, and all because the guy takes his work very seriously. But is he really so cool, and all the spider tricks were performed by Holland on his own? Well, 80% of the tricks were performed by Tom Holland, but some especially dangerous ones were performed by his double, Holland Diaz. That's right, they are both Hollands, but try not to get confused. But who knows what, apart from the nose, the young actor could sacrifice for the sake of his favourite role if he'd not been replaced by a real professional in dangerous moments. However, if you feel kind of deceived, don't worry, because the doubles misled Tom too. So, coming to his audition, he ran into Robert Downey Jr., the performer of the role of Tony Stark. Just like his hero, Tom got excited and nervous, but nevertheless spoke to the famous actor. A few minutes later, the real Downey Jr. entered the room. The first one was just his double. Bonus. 
You know, it's impossible not to mention the Hulk and Mark Ruffalo. It so happened that all the tricks for Mark are performed by that green guy, and he's created by computer graphics specialists. So what? No doubles? Oh, but we managed to find someone who helps Ruffalo perform complex tricks. Meet Anthony Molinari. He doubled Mark in the movie Now You See Me. Yeah, it doesn't have anything to do with the Marvel Universe, but we couldn't resist. Guys, it's time to recharge your brain. Visit the channel Brain Time. There you'll find a lot of interesting and useful facts, lots of positive energy, and tons of useful information. Subscribe right now. We promise it's going to be really exciting. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video in social networks, and we'll be right back to you as fast as we can.